once human. A lot of people are hoping that this is gonna be the next big thing. So let's see if that's true. Co here with another quick thoughts video, this time on the once human beta. This game. His head looks slightly like mine when I haven't been to the hairdresser for a while, and that makes me feel slightly insecure. Uh, definitely caught me a little bit by surprise. I had heard about it, some friends were playing it, and we had just had this other game debacle called The Day Before. Nice. Which turned out to be a giant <laughs> cluster that was a good of one. the, uh, the uh, Fluck variety. Nice. And this game was like shortly behind it, and and you know it was kind of like overshadowed by that controversy because people were like oh cool like another game however turns out once human is kind of awesome so yeah. it's currently in beta and it's an amalgamation of a lot of different things that i like kind of in one package so i'll kind of go down it here it is a lot of people are saying that this game looks and kind of is good but how good, it's really hard to judge because it seems like a small bit of a hype train is happening uh, behind this game now. And well, when things like that happen, things tend to get out of control and it's really, really hard to judge what's actually real or not. So it is what it is. A looter shooter survival multiplayer game. And what does that mean? Um, it means that you basically kind of like have this almost MMO style progression map, you know, you level start at level one, you move to level five area, then level 10, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, it is a third person shooter at heart. So you're doing main Well, actually not okay. That's typically not how really these games go. The last significant game that went that way is, well, Ark Survival pretty much and that's it. Other than that, I can't even uh, I can't even think of a single game that uh, did did a concept like this. You know, Rust doesn't count. A lot of games don't count if there's specific levels tied to things. So this already is well not a unique concept. For sure, it has been done right, but it definitely is something refreshing at the bare minimum. Ale, you're you're using machine guns, shotguns, pistols, that kind of stuff. There is a survival building component, and you also have food and water. So you are you are picking a little area of the map. You're seeing everyone else's little areas and their houses. You're building a house. You're making crafting stations. You're storing your items there. Um, you're building a motorcycle and using that if you want to. And on mm. top of that, nice. Not only is it is the is it kind of full multiplayer with you know war bands and there's actually pvp if you want to do that but it's opt-in oh look at that that looks like a vendigo or something but right? there's also this kind of like control influenced kind of well not exactly but it doesn't look bad that's for sure meta progression story thing it's very weird um but what it what is what it has spawned is some very cool locations some very cool okay. enemies. the enemy design okay. is, is very fun the world lore is kind of like this dystopian interesting weird again very kind of controlly um situation very sci-fi and uh, kind of at first look honestly this game looks like it's an apex legends type ish kind of clone oh but then you understand wait a minute this is more like rust no wait this is more like arc survival no wait this is more like this it seems like a mishmash amalgamation of a lot of things, which is not necessarily bad, by the way. If you take the best parts of a lot of games, well, chances are you have the best part of a lot of games. Now, the only question is, does it all stick together? And in this case, from what people are saying, yeah, it seems like kind of, yeah. Admittedly, you know, one thing, though, that is questionable in games like this, personally, at least for me, is, well, you, you see this right here, right? Accuracy plus 12. What does that mean? I have no idea. Stability plus 5. What is stability? I have absolutely no idea. Well, probably stability is how much wiggle that happens. And accuracy is, you know, how 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 accurate you shoot. But, you know, still, kind of stupid, not gonna lie. But all in all, I don't think this is a bad system. The crafting seems, uh, you know, as good as it can get, honestly. But, you know, in general, 
accuracy plus 12 stability plus 5. How about you shove all of that just right, right up there and, you know, n elbow deep, my boy. No, no, wait, that's not even an elbow. That's a something else, Bo. That, that's how deep you need to shove it, okay? With descriptions like this, stability plus 10. Am I the only one who absolutely hates when games do this? Dude, bruh, come on. Stop. Just, just, just please stop, okay? Julian. And I have to say that now that I've spent, oh, I don't, I don't know if I, is, is it actually on Steam? It's not on Steam. I don't know how many hours I've spent in this, but after I've been playing it now for like five plus hours, maybe five to 10 hours, it's really cool. It's really cool. I'm really enjoying Once Human. Um, there's always like new areas to. I wonder if this gets old though. I wonder if this gets old really fast. For example, the pistol mods that you can see here are also kind of. Uh, this one is 6 damage. Uh, the, this one is 8 damage. Kind of kind of useless, let's be completely, absolutely real. You know, it's cool that you have systems like this, but when your systems is like, Oh, get lucky and get 3 damage. Get unlucky and get 2 damage. Kind of ruins the game, slightly in my honest opinion. But you know, it is what it is. Is to, to, like when you get to a new area, it doesn't feel very cookie cuttery. Uh, there's there's the enemy progression is kind of continually introducing new enemies. oh it has a gun in its on there's boss fights there's like mini oh, look at that it's like side and head only not dungeons the crafting is pretty great the crafting and building is pretty cool uh we kind of spent today almost over an hour just kind of building our little home it's fun it's going to be free with a cat with a cop well i mean that wasn't that bad except the part where you know it kind of glitched through the ball there because the animation it is what it is. Cosmetic shop, and apparently they're just doing cosmetics. And frankly, it's it's just a very solid product. I don't think I've crashed once. There's very few bugs. I do want to let you know early. Um, it is a Chinese game. Chinese? By, that is funded by NetEase. Oh, boy. Bruh, you better not say anything bad about China while playing this. Otherwise, you're going to get a ban, okay? It is what it is. You you better you better say, Oh, Xi Jinping, you're my hero. You're my hero. And then, the, and then they're going to reward you with better drop rates and stuff. And I know that, that the word net ease definitely inspires a lot of like, Ugh. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't care that it's net ease. Admittedly, he is completely right. Net ease have literally ruined absolutely almost anything and everything they had touched. They have an absolutely fabulous history of making things from bad to honestly worse. So there you kind of go. But a, an idea like this, I honestly kind of like it. You drop a bunch of, uh, you, you know, you have a map, people start making bases, and then people start just going in, into higher level zones and farming there, upgrading weapons and things like that. Seems fun. Not gonna lie. The idea seems really solid, and I think this game is gonna win because it's really solid. Because, again, we currently have no game that technically does this to... You know that much of a degree honestly in my opinion and that's like one of the big uh, the big issues here you know destiny 2 is an absolute absolute terrible game the bungie hates their fan base they're milking them they're not giving them anything that they want every time something good happens bungie just slaps you in the face okay but people still play this thing too and why is that well hard to say a lot of people just like suffering honestly but but a lot of people just don't have an alternative for it. And this game seems, well, it seems like its own thing. We have games like Valheim, for example. This game kind of probably in comparison would be Valheim, but with guns. And that doesn't seem that bad, honestly, now, does it? But they are saying that it's just going to be cosmetic, even though it's free to play. And if it stays that way... That's great. But I will say this is definitely one of the situations where you're going to want to be cautious and aware of the fact that it might start as cosmetic. Um, and, you know, just... Yeah, look at that. This already is outpacing the day before by miles. Keep an eye on that. Keep your finger on that pulse kind of thing. But yeah, I will, I will say as of now, as of right now, it is a fun game. It is a very cool game. I'm still really enjoying my time in it. I still plan on continuing to play it. And... If you go to oncehuman.com, you can sign up 
to nice. there's like a lottery thing going on every so often where they send out a big bunch of keys and that is how you can you can get in currently it's unfortunately they they did have it as an open beta you used to be able to just go to the website download it and play but then they got like six or seven times the amount of people that they were expecting because um that's a good I think sign like after the day before happened everyone was like oh let me go see this one i mean you know that oh look at that pvp level one yeah three percent hp in pvp wow wow now there's good there's good things to say about this and there's bad things to say about this obviously if you have something like this and you know you level up and you get that's stupid no one likes that it's boring how about you shove it up somewhere okay good good job you did okay that's stupid but the thing is you can rework these things a level up should be something that you want to achieve because it allows you to play the game in a different way. It gives you something that you didn't have before. And, you know, when I say give something, I mean everything already in the game is good, but it gives you something more. That's what you should strive for. But when you have like a, ba a flat 3% boost to something, it's like, okay, okay, how about you just don't? Thank you, thank you very much. You, you're so understanding. Yeah, just don't. Just just don't. This is stupid. No one wants this. Okay? Now, the good part is they can slowly rework these things to actually make sense, to be cooler, and blah, blah, blah. That is the good part. And, you know, the bad part is that they currently seem boring. That there's a lot of things that are boring. But, again, you can rework all of these systems in pretty easy ways to actually be interesting. And that's big and then all of a sudden like it started spreading like wildfire that's actually pretty damn good and uh now we go from there once once human dot game thank you the website is once human dot game not dot com and uh yeah it's been cool so anyway this has uh been a kind of a long-winded thoughts video but i feel like mm. i had to get some stuff out for it obviously it's still in beta Looks but as good. long as it keeps going like it is i think we'll, we'll pretty much be returning on release for sure and one final thing i do want to oh, say look at that. Those before i sign off pretty here. good yeah the writing and the dialogue is janky. Don't let that turn you off. I did not expect writing or dialogue in the first place. Okay, so there's a story to this? I mean, cool, I guess, but I'm not gonna lie. Did you expect the story for this? I did not expect the story for this. To the actual pretty great gameplay. Um, when I first started this game, it there, there's like this kind of story-ish heavy part. And um, I definitely was kind of like, a little bit during it uh apparently the the dialogue and and voice acting is is relatively on the beta slash alpha side so hopefully we'll yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm surprised there is a dialogue option even that's that's kind of insane not gonna lie anyway that was co cottonage it is what it is this looks pretty good and please fix your hair because when my hair gets like that you're kind of making me feel self-conscious stop i don't like that Anyway, this was Quizzer Sids, and thanks for watching. Subscribe, and already, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.